Hey guys, welcome to our channel once again. Now, imagine that you can study for free in abroad, such that uh, your tuition fee for all admitted students is fully paid for, okay? Your accommodations for all admitted students is also taken care of by the school. And at the end of every month, they provide for you a monthly living stipend that is essential for you to buy foods and other essential things that you might need for living or residing in this school and in this country every month. That is great, right? And it doesn't stop there. Yes. Now, to also make things very comfortable for everyone to submit their applications and to be able to apply, there is no application fee required from anyone and everybody can apply to this school. Yes, you can study any course in sciences, any course in art, any course in management, any course in engineering, in fact, any course in any faculty or any department whatsoever, you can study them for free. So which means all admitted students in this school will pay no thing, no fee, no, no, I mean, we, we, we will not have to bother about having to pay anything in this school. Yes. Now, the application will be ending by December 31st. So I am pushing out the video on time to give you ample opportunity to be able to get some essential documents that are required for you to be able to make your application. Now, another thing is all nationality can apply to this. Yes, everybody can apply and you can also move with your family, but of course you have to, you have to show financial subsistence to show that you'll be able to take care of any dependent that is going with you. That is the only thing regarding your family going with you. And of course, your, your spouse, your husband, or your wife can work legally in the country, making it a double income for the household. That is great, right? And your children can access free education, free health care in the country. Okay? Now, the beauty of it is this. As I said earlier, the application will be ending by December 31st, and it is has already opened, so which means everyone can apply already. So, Today, I'm going to be showing the details about how you can apply the necessary documents that is required for you to apply. Now, if you are just seeing our channel, please give this video a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. Because every week and every day, we try as much as possible to look out for information like this that we aid your JAPA process to any choice European country. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It is really, really very important to us. And if you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button now and don't forget to share it with every loved ones that you have because this information is really, really very important. You cannot want to, you cannot afford to hold this information. So which school am I talking about? I'm talking about Beria College in the USA. Yes. Barrier College in the USA. And as you can see in front of you here, it's stated here, no tuition. Yes, it sounded like it is too good to be true. They even put it like a smiley kind of thing here. No kidding. Yes, there is nobody that pays tuition. All admitted students does not pay any tuition. Yes. And of course, I'm going to be showing to you the details about that shortly. The amount every enrolled student pays in tuition is zero dollar, okay? And Beria College is covering all tuition fee, housing, food, and fee expenses. Yes, they are practically taking care of everything in this school, okay? And let's quickly check some other essential informations that are, as I mean, that you will need to be able to make your application to this school. Now, with respect to the department, Yes, with respect to the department and programs in this school, for instance, African and African-American studies. And of course, in this faculty, they have different courses that you can do. So you can go into them in details to check what type of courses they have available 
to, to help aid your decision. Okay, agricultural and natural resources, um, appalachian studies, art and art history, Asian studies, biology department, chemistry faculty, child and family studies, communication, computer science, economics and business, education science, engineering technologies and applied design, English, foreign languages, general studies, I mean, um, health and human performance, history, mathematics, music, and the list, political science, psychology, the list goes on and on, physics, sociology, I mean, the nursing, yes, nursing, wow. You study all of them for free. Nobody, no admitted student pay any tuition fee in this school. So these are the uh, different faculties and the different courses that they have available that you can choose from. Now, let's see the process of the applications, the essential information that are required for you to be able to make your application as an international student. As you can see in here, application deadline is December 31st. So that is why I am doing the video on time to give you ample time to be able to gather all essential documents that you might need to be able to submit or apply for your application. Of course, you might be wondering if there is no tuition fee, they are taking care of living expenses, providing accommodation, how do they do it? Of course, they do it via donation. Yes, and I will show that to you. How are we able to operate without charging tuition? They have generous donors have also raised the remaining 7% every year, and you can read in details, but overall, they try as much as possible to raise funds through donations from different bodies, individual organizations, so to in order to be able to fund the admissions, the payment of tuition fee, living expenses, among other essential things that they need. And of course, if you want to uh, donate for them, of course, you can, of course, donate. That is why you see the options to donate here. But if you want to apply, you can use the apply button here, okay? So that is that about all the departments and faculties in this school. Now let's check the admission procedure. Okay, the admission procedure, once you are ready, you click on the apply button. All application must be submitted online. Complete the barrier college application for admission for international students. And as you can see here, there is no application fee. Wow, this is great. There is no application fee. You are incurring nothing. So which means, you have nothing to lose when you apply for this admission. Everybody can apply. And from what I can also see, I think there is no age restriction as well. Yes, there is no age restrictions. Everybody can apply. And once you once you are in, once you are able to gain admission into this school, you can move with your family. So let's quickly check some other essential information. I will leave the link of this video. To on the video, I mean, of this uh, website on the video description so that you can, you know, do extensive research and gather more information regarding these um, um, applications to Barrier College. Personal essay is very important. Yes, you must write up an essay of about two to five pages. This essay may be used to assist in course placement. So depending on the course that you want to apply for and some, oh, let's also check. This is what your essay must entail. The essay should address the following point, an overview of your educational and life experiences, what you plan to do after completing your education, why you wish to return or not return to your home country. It is not compulsory that you return to your home country. So, but of course you must be able to provide justifications for why after completing your study, why you will want to remain in the USA. Yes, in the USA. Descriptions of ways in which you have positively impacted your community. So these four points must be embedded in about two to five pages of your personal essay. Um, and this personal essay, it's more like a purpose statement of our motivation letter. What is your motivations? And in that motivation letter or your essay, it must address these four points that are listed here. That is number two. Now, copy of your official secondary school record must also be attached to your online applications. So which means if you have A-level result, O-level result, national higher diploma result, or West African examination result, which is your WAHEC, O level, if you are calling it work, if you have ND, if you have national, but 
if you have BSc program, you can also use it to apply, but the minimum educational requirement that you can use to apply here is your, is your um, secondary school certificate, which is your WAHEC. And as you can see it here, West African Examination Results, which is what is mostly called in Africa. So everybody can apply, okay? And to also, you know, give you further information, if you already have BSc, um, if you have already secured your BSc, try to, if you want to apply to this, because in this very college, there is no graduate program. They only admit or they only uh, recruit or admit for those who want to acquire their bachelor program only. That is all that they do in this school. So there's no graduate programs whatsoever. So my advice, and I think it's also part of their frequently asked question. If you have already secured bachelor program, my advice is for you to remove it from your CV and from your personal essay. Yes, take that point. I mean, that is part of the reason why you are watching this video anyway, to be able to give you more points and more information that we hate the decision to get enrolled in this school. So that is that. Now, number four, one teacher recommendation form. And this is more like a reference form or recommendation form. Of course, you can download it from the application portal and give your recommender to fill it. It must be typed. As you can see here, you may also download the form here and upload the completed form to your online application form. We will accept a written recommendation, written, not typed, written recommendation, preferably typed. But if you prefer, you can add the email of your recommender to the application so that they can automatically get the email and send your applications directly to them. But if you prefer, you can also download the form and send it to them. Now, financial resource recommendation form. Now, instead of here, this form should be completed by a school administrator, employer, religious leader, or another individual who can make a statement about your personal and financial resources, as well as barriers as they relate to your pursuit of your higher education. Please note, this form may not be completed by a close relative, father, mother, brother, sister, anybody that is related to you cannot fill this form. The financial resource recommendation form should be written in English. Official test code. This speech is very, very important. Listen carefully. IELTS, Duolingo, TOEFL, SAT, or ACT is very, very essential for everyone. So regardless of which country you are watching this from, even if you are coming from an English-speaking country like Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, whatever country you are coming from, is stated here, this requirement includes students from English-speaking countries. So everybody must provide an English test um, 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 examinations. So it can be IELTS, Duolingo, TOEFL, SAT, or ACT, any one that you have, you can provide them. However, and this is another tip, Duolingo is one of the easiest and the cheapest test score that you can find online. I think the, the payment is around $50 or $55 based on last experience that I've had about people that did it. And you can also practice for free online. And you can practice for like, if you if you devote your time to it, you can practice for like two days. And in the third day, you can do the test and score at least, you must be able to score at least 95 points in Duolingo. So it, it is the easiest because it is required for submission during your application. Yes, that is what this place is talking about. So even if you send it officially to the school, you must also add it to your online application when you are submitting your form. So take note of that tip. Duolingo is the easiest to do. But of course, if you have TOEFL, IELTS and the likes, you are good to go. Now, the last point here, international financial questionnaire. All applicants must submit the questionnaire via their online application portal. We will not accept the CSS profile or the ISFSS in lieu of the barrier college form. Of course, it's just a questionnaire asking trying that they are using to try to gather more information relating to your personal self, your applications, your motivations, and some other essential thing, how you found out about the school, among other information, okay? So that is that about this school. And of course, like I said, they do not, don't come to the comment section, comment section and start asking 
that uh, do they um, uh, admit graduate student? No, they don't admit graduate student. Only those who want to do bachelor programs are the people that they admit. And they don't come and ask if you can go with your family again. Yes, you can go with your family. But of course, if you have any other essential questions that you, you know, that you have, you can try to email, go to their contact session to ask them directly. But if it is something that you feel we will be able to assist you with, you can drop them on the comment section and we'll try as much as possible to assist you. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one session to be able to assist you either to review your uh, personal essay or your motivation letter, you have to register for our one-on-one -on -one consultation session so that we'll be able to assist you with, I mean, polishing your motivation letter and giving you some tips that will also help your motivation letter because it is part of the requirement that helps the committee to be able to make decision, a positive decision regarding your application. I mean, imagine that you're not studying, you're not paying any tuition, no accommodation fee, no, I mean, living expenses is taken care of. And they are even saying that you can even move to the country with your family. I mean, that is great, right? So yes, if you take note of everything that we've um, talked about here, you, I am definitely certain that uh, you will be part of the people that will be sharing testimony again on our Telegram group. Come this year, March when the decision result will be, I mean, come next year, March when the decision result for all admitted students will be released. I mean, I mean, this is really great, right? So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It is really, really very important to us. Give this video a thumbs up. Yes, a thumbs up. You, yes, <laughs> you give this video a thumbs up. That is how the YouTube algorithm sees that this video is providing relevant information to the general public. And if you have not liked this video or you have not subscribed rather to this video, please and please and please, and brother and sister, like and subscribe to this video so that by the time we drop informations and opportunities like this, that we hit your jackpot plan to any choice European country, you will be the first person to get notification and we drop similar thing to the Republic of South Korea in that place, you can study BSc program, master's program and PhD program. And you will see the video uh, moving already on the attached to this uh, link. You will see it at the top. That is the, um, that is the, another opportunity. And I think it is still available up until October for you to submit your application to that one. So that one allow BSc, master's and PhD. But this one is only for those who want to go and do bachelor program again or alone. Okay, yes. And of course, till we see you next time, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye-bye for now.